In this video, I will show you how easy it is to update your Zigbee coordinator firmware. Hello and welcome to my channel, which is all about building an affordable DIY smart home that supports Apple HomeKit all by using HomeBridge and Zigbee to MQTT. So I've done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. And don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Now in this video, I wanted to hit two birds with one store. What that means is I want to show you how easy it is to update the firmware for your Sonos Zigbee 3.0 dongle or even the Convy 2 stick. Now what that means is you don't need to disassemble the product, you don't need to press the bootloader button, no need of additional uh, uh, softwares or even signing up for emails. It's going to be that simple all by using Linux commands if you are running your home bridge of Zigbee to MQTT setup using a Raspberry Pi or Mac OS. Now for other systems or platforms, I've left links in the description that you can access and use as well. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead first and update the uh, firmware for this device. And as always, you wanna make sure you always connect it to a USB cable. And let's go ahead and do that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open up terminal. Let's go ahead and SSH into the Raspberry Pi. Now if you see this error, don't worry. All you have to do is type in open and copy paste this line and delete all of the contents. Close, let's SSH again. Yes, password default is Raspberry. There we are in, so let's type clear. Now, I always recommend whenever you run any additional new softwares using Linux, you wanna first go ahead and update all of the Linux packages. So let's go ahead and do that. Enter. So finally, all of the Linux packages have been updated. Let's do one more thing and let's reboot the system. Let's SSH. And the first thing we're gonna do is you wanna make sure that the Raspberry Pi has picked up the Sonoff dongle. So it has already picked it up and you wanna take note of the port. So it's USB zero. Now let's go ahead and update the firmware. Now there is a dedicated page to update the firmware and I will also left a link in the description and all we have to do is follow all of the commands that's right here and as it says it's dedicated to Sonos Zigbee 3.0 USB dongle plus. Now let's go ahead and run these commands. So first thing we're going to do is install the Python. Since we did the Linux package update there's no uh, need of any additional files so let's go ahead to the next command and download and install any additional Python packages. Successfully installed. Now let's go ahead and download and create this director. Change directory. And we want to go ahead and copy this file as well. And now we're going to go and download the firmware. So let's go first to the supported adapter page. And in our case, it's the Son of Dongle. So here you can go and choose your firmware if you want a coordinator firmware or router firmware. And all of this information resides right here in GitHub under coordinator, Zstack 3.x. You go to bin and here you can see the last update. So in this case, we're going to and use this file right here, which is already updated in the documentation. So if we go flashing the firmware, it's already mentioned right here. Launchpad coordinator. The last update was in February. So if you see over here, it's still February. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go and get the file, copy, paste, and then we're going to unzip the file. And now here's the magic. All we have to do is copy this command to flash the firmware. And just like that, when you see verified, it means that the firmware has been updated and we've got the Sonoff Zigbee 3.0 updated to February uh, 2022. That's simple. We've updated the software for the Sonoff. I've left all of the documentation in the description. You can go and access it. If you want, you can also go and uh, change the firmware to a router. So that decision is on you. A very straightforward. All you need to do is follow this guide here and it, you just use this Python to update the firmware. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing for your Combi 2 stick. So I'm just going to remove the Sonoff insert the Convy2 stick and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and reboot the system. Let's SSH. Now one of the issues with the Convy2 stick is that you cannot 
use any other software you have to use a proprietary software that comes with decons so if you're if you're using the default decons application then from within the application you can run an auto update but if you're using zigbee to mqtt you don't necessarily see that option so what we're going to do here is we're going to use the proprietary software to update the firmware and then i will also show you how to uninstall that software so let's go to the documentation and all we have to do is follow this guide here then you want to go and configure the app repository always use the stable version because if you use the beta version you're always going to encounter bugs and this is going to have your zigbee to M zigbee network not working as desired so please always use the stable branch then you want to go and update the package and then you want to go ahead and install the decon software now, if you're using Windows, there is a dedicated flashing software, which I will show you what is it that is specially made for Windows. Unfortunately, it's not yet available for Linux and uh, Decons has no target date to have a dedicated Linux package installer to flash the Conv2 stick without using its proprietary software. Now with the Decon software already installed, let's go ahead and, and confirm if the Raspberry Pi has picked up the Conv2 stick. So we see that it's picked up the Conv2 stick and you want to take note of the port because you want to make sure when you flash the firmware, the port information is mentioned correctly. Now let's go and update the Decons uh, firmware manually. So what you want to do is you want to first stop the service. Then you want to go ahead and download the latest firmware. Now this, depending if it's a Raspi2 a Conv2 stick, you want to go and stick the last file. So it's right here, 15 May 2022. Now Conv in their documentation always directs it to the last firmware. So in this case, it's Conv2. So we're just going to copy it. So you want to make sure it's 80700. If you go to the firmware page, it is the same file as well. So let's go and copy it, download the file, then Let's go and stop the mode manager and we're going to go and run the firmware command. Now it is here that we need the decon software to basically get the GCF flasher internal application where there is no standalone Linux package. So let's go ahead and copy this command and paste it and hit enter. And just like that, your Decon's Combi2 stick is now updated with the latest firmware. You can see the success message. Once this is completed, now we can go and uninstall the Decon's software. You don't want to keep it because when you restart your home with Zigbee to MQTT, uh, Zigbee to MQTT will not work as it will say the port, the Combi2 stick is used by another application. So let's go ahead now and uninstall the Decon's software. So this is the command and let's hit enter. And just like that, that's how easy it is to update the software. And also we completed updating the firmware for these two Zigbee coordinator sticks without any disassembly, just using plain Linux commands. And if you want to know my 10 Zigbee to MQTT tips, you want to check out this video. Or if you want to set up your own DIY HomeKit hub, you want to check out this video. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, have a nice day and happy automation.